this one is to move the file. So for example, let's say that we want to move this file. We want to move this file from, uh, this file is currently in expense data and let's say we want to move it to documents folder, which is blank at the moment. You can use this as well. So start the drive service, disconnect using the drive service, uh, call the move object method. And then um, this is a target folder ID. So this is where we are going to move it. Okay. So let's try this. Move. This one is moving by ID. Okay. F5. And if you come here, you'll see that it has moved that file from here. Okay. Now you can also move the file, you know, using the query. There are, uh, you know, like lots of query options, which I'll uh, share more examples as well as the link where you can uh, use as a reference. Uh, for example, in this one, we're saying that uh, the query's name is equal to this file, and then uh, you can specify where you want to move it. So for example, if I go to others folder, and let's say that, um, I want to use this particular file. I want to search for this file where the name is equal to this, and then you can move it to the documents folder. Again, uh, drive service, uh, move object, uh, get file by this. Here you have to specify query, whereas this one is ID. And then uh, you can specify the query you are running and then the target. Okay, uh, I'm gonna run this, F5. It says move successfully, found one file. So if there's more files, it's going to tell you that. It cannot move because there are more files with the same name. And if I go to documents folder, you'll see that it's moved the file. 